hello Crafty Crandall fam. Today I want to talk to you about five things that I wish I knew when I started art. I started art at around the age of nine, maybe ten years old, and it was really just such a fun hobby. But there are so many things that I wish that I knew back then that I know now, so I wanted to explore some of those with you today to hopefully engage you in some thoughtfulness and see what you might have wished that you knew, see if any of these things are things that you don't already know and are interested in pursuing, and just continuing conversation surrounding art on this channel. The first thing that I wish I knew is that art is a valuable skill. Now, when I was going through high school, I didn't want to pursue art. I was such an art nerd from like the time I was 10 until the time that I was in eighth grade. And I was constantly drawing, constantly coming up with characters and comics and all of these things. But as soon as high school hit and it became real that I needed to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, art was never a viable option. So I pursued engineering. I enjoyed math and science and I'm, I'm so glad with that decision, don't get me wrong, but I never saw the value in art. And now as a practicing engineer, someone who is doing engineering full time, I find so much value in art. It is one of the most valuable things because it really incites creativity. It forces you to look at the world in different ways and it is just really a problem solving approach that not everyone has. So I can use artwork to depict the problems that I'm having and try to work my way around it through art in that I can convey my ideas a little bit better and I can kind of map out problems in a way that not everyone can visually see in their head because they don't practice art. They can't draw out what they're thinking as easily as an artist could. And so I find so much value in that. And as I said, it just really helps to continue to feed your creative mindset in such a technical field. So having that creative side and really garnering those skills and honing them has helped me immensely in my, my professional career. I also find that I can create more aesthetic presentations because I have more of an aesthetic mind. So all of that to say, if you don't see the value in art and you are thinking about your career, don't write art off as something that you can't do because you want to pursue a more technical field because you can always practice art no matter what you are doing. No matter what job you choose to do, you can keep that artistic habit alive and well, and you can continue to hone those artistic skills. And I highly encourage you to do so. The second thing that I wish I knew when I started art is that realism can be fun. Coming up through art, um, art classes in school, I did a lot of still lifes as everyone is forced to do, and I never found them very exciting. Something that we never did in school, oddly, was a portrait painting or a portrait um, drawing. And so I never realized how much fun kind of capturing the human face and capturing those features could be. And so I never developed a love for realism. I was very much like your standard art kid back then into anime, into like neopets and into things that were I don't know, catering to artists uh, more so than realism at the time. So being younger, that was the stuff that I was drawn to, like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Dragon Ball Z, all of those things I would draw constantly fan art of, but I never practiced realism. So I never really realized how much fun it could be. And then fast forward into high school, I didn't do the art classes in high school because again, I was pursuing more of a technical path. So I took technology and engineering courses instead of art courses. So I think in those courses, they did explore that a little bit more, but I missed out because I didn't take those courses. So I never realized it. And now here I am with a huge love of realism and just trying to consistently get better at portraying anatomy, portraying humans, portraying figures, etc. So it's something that I wish I knew earlier and had started developing the skills for earlier in life, but 
nonetheless, it is never too late. You can always start learning. Kind of along that same vein is number three, and that is painting. I never realized how fun painting could be. For whatever reason, my art classes in school never encompassed painting. We were always doing some form of craft or we were drawing. We were never painting. And so I never got to use watercolor, acrylic, oils, nothing in school. And I didn't really have any other creative influences other than one of my friends who also was a phenomenal artist but she only ever drew so that's all I ever did because that's all I ever encountered really. Uh, I didn't have any exposure to painting and I really wish that I had started painting earlier because again I can only imagine how much better my skills would be if I had started these things earlier. It would also probably have helped if I didn't take a four year long break from any art whatsoever during college, but that was kind of unavoidable. <laughs> the fourth thing that I wish I knew when I was learning art is that you don't have to be just like anyone else ever. You are you and what you are doing is valid. So I say all of that because that same friend that I referenced before who is really good, a talented artist and just phenomenally good at drawing, I was trying to be her when I started doing art. And that's ridiculous. First of all, she was the one who really got me into art and taught me about art as a hobby. And her whole family was artists. They were all great. but. I could never catch up because she practiced more than I did. And at the time I was drawing nonstop. There was never an end to me drawing, but I couldn't catch up because she was constantly developing a style that was not mine. <laughs> I needed to be okay with the fact that my style was going to diverge. I was going to do something different. And I never really realized that back then. The only reason that I stopped practicing that style and stopped doing that type of art is because I took that four year long break and came back to art as an adult with a fresh set of eyes and a new perspective and also an art class, <laughs> which helped kind of morph where my art is today. I found some old artwork recently, which I will put on the screen now from 2009. So that was my junior year of high school. And it, this is actually a picture that I drew of my prom dress to try to describe it to someone. Let's talk about those proportions. <laughs> wow, this is what I mean. If I had started to take an interest in realism, I might have been able to improve past that. Since then, my art kind of took so many twists and turns and I am so happy with where it has gone. Um, I'll put some other pieces up on the screen for you to kind of see all of that, but that's kind of what I mean is that I wish that I had taken this path a little bit sooner. It would be really interesting to see what my style would be if I had accepted the fact that I needed to develop what I was, not try to be somebody else. And the final and fifth thing that I wish that I knew when I was coming up through my journey of learning art is that I had it right back then. Although I did seek validation from my one and only friend in the arts, <laughs> she validated me. She always was so encouraging. She was constantly there for me. She was willing to answer my questions and she was just a really great influence on my art. Despite the fact that it was very clear that I was trying to copy her style she was still so encouraging. She never, you know, told me off for doing that, even though she probably should have. Um, but my point is that she was the only person that I was seeking validation from ever. And obviously myself, but that's beside the point. The internet wasn't really a thing back then. So we didn't just constantly post our work online and seek validation from like a thousand random people on the internet like I'm doing now uh, <laughs> but I wish that that mindset had continued and that I didn't put value on other people's opinions. 
I have another video talking about this topic, which I will link above if you're interested, because I do think that it is a topic that's just not explored enough in the art community, and I feel passionately about it. You should be proud of your own work. I know some people feel, almost feel bad, or like, invalidated by feeling proud of their work because they they can see the obvious need for improvement so they don't feel like they can also be proud of it but i am here to kill that notion you can be proud of your artwork if you created something that you are happy with then please 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 be happy with it be proud of yourself give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it and you are amazing your art matters for you. So please keep that in mind. Please go forward with a more positive mindset as you approach your artwork. Be grateful for the improvements that you've made. Be grateful for the process of creating art, for the reasons that you create artwork, and don't be afraid to be proud of your work every now and again. So with that, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you liked it. Consider subscribing to this channel if you're interested. Hit that notification bell if you do to get notified every time that I post. I really appreciate your time and attention today, and I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye!